Welcome, everyone, uh, to my session here titled Optimizing Operations with AI Edge Connectivity and IIoT. Uh, just a few things before we get started, uh, more housekeeping um, in, terms of any, in terms of anything. Um, please, if you have a cell phone, silence that cell phone. That would be very helpful. Um, <laughs> unless I didn't, and then mine goes off, and I feel stupid. But uh, yeah, please silence that. That's very helpful. Um, and you can, of course, go into the forum app and rate the session. Uh, that's helpful to get, to get feedback on it. So today, I think um, we've got a really interesting topic um, in terms of what you're going to see today around different approaches uh, to, to specific digital transformation initiatives. So let's jump in. OK. So in my mind, to understand any aspect of digital transformation, it's really to, to start uh, by looking at the outcomes associated with digital transformation. Um, and these are being driven by some things that we all um, have heard about, Internet of Things, modern software design and use. I think that's really critical uh, in terms of transformation. You'll hear about some specific ways that's being done today from our speakers. And then, of course, all of the data related to these outcomes. And we have, in the ARC model, we have six of them here, these six dimensions. And what you'll clearly see is it's, it's multidimensional in terms of what people are considering around change, transformation, uh, supply chains, engineering, business systems, asset services, business models, et cetera. Um, and as that change is considered, what I, I think is really interesting um, is it has a not natural domino effect and a cascading impact. And that can be very granular sometimes or, or you know, at the, uh, the, the, the macro level. Um, so not only do businesses now have to be aware of, of sort of the immediate change they're affecting, but they also have to understand that they can be affected in ways that they can't foresee. So when we've looked at a value chain, we've typically looked at the value chain in terms of upstream and downstream. Well, with digital transformation, one of the tenets of that is, is that stream is continuous. So you can have impact on your business from both sides of it continuously. And some of you can't foresee. That's that whole future-proofing concept. So you, one of the things that's really critical in terms of how you go about doing your digital transformation, your, your initiative around optimization, or whatever metric you're trying to affect, is really to think about speed and agility. If I put something in place, how does it accelerate what I can do and then do that well? Because that business agility, that's really what's going to be, be key. So we're going to talk about one aspect of that dimension um, and look at its two subsets. So we're going to look at asset performance management and operations performance management. So asset, the APM, they're really looking at solutions around reliability, uh, availability of physical assets uh, while you're still um, minimizing risk and operating costs associated with those assets. And then OPM and OPM solutions are really about improving responsiveness, throughput, quality cost, profitability, and efficiency of production systems. OK, so if anybody was around this morning, you've seen this slide before. If anybody was around in my workshop yesterday, you've seen the slide before. Um, there's a reason. Um, you know, I talked about this, that this morning. It's re it can be really difficult to understand differences in solutions. And, and I don't just mean vendors, but I mean approaches, methods, philosophies, concepts to, to problem solving. Um, and then it's also, of course, Within that confusion, then it's, un it's hard to understand the different vendors that may support a specific way of doing, thing, doing things and really try to figure out how to compare, compare them in meaningful ways. Um, what you'll see today in, in terms of an outcome of two businesses that have sorted through that um, very interestingly and come up with a way of doing things is they've taken um, different iterations to it. They've taken different routes to a problem 
and you're going to see some different flavors. And what you'll see, there isn't a right, there isn't a wrong, there's a fit. So there, the outcome is there's, there's really a lot of paths to problem solving. You do have to keep that in mind. And the correct path for you is really going to be based on having a very good objective defined for your organization. And again, that's something I'd mentioned this morning around the, the strategic planning process. You have to have some vision that makes sense to people that are carrying it out at a granular level. So at times you may find when you look at the veteran community that you will be, in terms of a solution path, you may be comparing apples to apples, you may be comparing apples to oranges, or you may be comparing apples to spaceships. But if, if you understand when you're seeing a spaceship versus an apple, then you're doing the right thing. It, it's, it's when people have a problem is when they don't understand that that spaceship truly is a spaceship. They somehow think maybe it is an apple. And that's where they really run into problems uh, selecting approaches of how to proceed. So regardless of what your path is to digital transformation, you know, it's really, uh, it's a good thing to reset it in terms of what you're trying to overcome. And these are pretty traditional ways of, of doing things. And I'm not going to go through all of these because I think they're probably pretty obvious to everybody in here who's struggled with them around silos, limitations, um, speed to action, that type of thing. So uh, a couple things we're talking about today, some pillars um, around digital transformation as applied to operational optimization, the, the subject here, um, AI and IIoT. And in particular, with AI, we're going to talk about a subset of AI, machine learning. A lot of what you'll hear from the vendor community is, we do AI and machine learning. Well, if you do machine learning, by default you're doing AI, because it's a subset of, uh, of uh, machine learning is a subset of AI. And it's fairly straightforward in terms of what it is. It's the ability of a, a system to acquire and prove, prove some, uh, improve an ability automatically with a set of instructions. I mean, that's most basic, that's what it is. Um, and then there's the industrial IoT. When you hear about I, IoT, you typically hear about the IT aspect of it and the OT uh, side of it, particularly at the edge itself, and edge infrastructure. And the IT edge is, I think, is typically the more understood one. And the reason being is, the con you know, within the context of IIoT, it's things that we're very familiar with. Um, it's supported by well-known uh, IT capabilities. Uh, OT, the OT edge is a little different. And you do see them, um, one of the ARC experts, Chantal Polzinetti, deals with the edge a lot, and she's really talking about the, uh, the edge in terms of the thick layer and the thin layer. And the OT edge is really characterized primarily by its role of converting automation-centric data connectivity to that which can be consumed in the IT environment. So there's just some nuance there, because a lot of people do ask the question, well, what is the edge? It can be, the edge can be many things, and the edge can change based on where your orientation is as well. That gets us to our next point. So you'll hear today from some of the speakers that identify some specific reasons that they drove things in terms of their execution, like where they wanted to, to uh, apply their machine learning. And this, again, is not to, not to imply that one approach is better than the other. It's really about the fit to the objective and then the resources you have to execute. So when you look at the edge, and the big data layer and the database layer, and, and overall, it's kind of a fog architecture. That's what people talk about. You have these different orientations, and fog is simply executing where the data can deliver the most value. Uh, we're going to hear from some folks today that have very specific orientations about why they executed where they executed it. And I think eventually you're going to find most, uh, most organizations will have a mix of these because they'll find they have to execute in multiple areas to, to achieve their objectives. So um, I'll try to get out of the way here now, but we've got two, I think, really good presentations. Um, Diana from Vopac will talk about uh, what their company is doing and the strategy behind that with the help of uh, their partner, Automaton. And then Joseph from Continental Powertrain. So got to say the powertrain right. Uh, got to get that right. Um, he'll come up here and talk about uh, some of the interesting things that they did and kind of what they learned along the way relative to one of their plants 
uh, that they're, they're achieving some great results with the help of, of Siemens MindSphere. So without further ado, Diana.